Today is my 22nd birthday. Yes, I am a 90s baby. Only by four days, but I will die being a 90s baby. The year 2021, being 21, was a really difficult year in a bunch of different ways. But it was also a really amazing year in a bunch of different ways. I learned more about myself and about God than any other year in my entire life. I made friends, deep, deep relationships that I currently have now from a year ago, or a little over a year ago now, in November 2020, having no friends. By the end of December, having connections and friends and then made those into tangible, real relationships. I learned what is truly healthy for me, what is not healthy for me, what burnout feels like, real burnout, and what rest feels like, true rest feels like. God has exposed me to myself, allowing me to have the option to work on myself if I want to. Getting new ideas one after another regarding video ideas, video uh, ideas about the community, videos that would actually impact and change the world in some way, shape, or form. But what did my year truly look like? 2021 started off with quitting social media, or more or less, I guess, fasting social media, or detoxing social media, in other words, and I'll actually have another video on that next week. Not to be that type of YouTuber, but it's a lot that I learned and a lot that God has shown me through the process. The first Sunday of 2021 actually started off with worship. I believe it was January 5th third it was at my place the first time having worship at my house parents were gone it was actually really amazing people were getting baptized in my sister's bathtub people were actually getting healed breakthrough was happening and it was one of the craziest experiences encounters that we had at this house still to this day but also within that first week i was drinking to the point of pushing myself over the edge of getting drunk and feeling quite depressed from it not from drinking, but from other things. Fast forward to February slash March, I was watching a farm with over 150 livestock. I know at this point in time of recording this, and probably by the time I post it, that the video is not out yet, it's almost done. It's almost done, I'm gonna share it, it's really good. I'm pretty proud of it. As well as in March, I got my first tattoo in a year, which is this one right here. This tattoo is also the first of four that I got. I got one here on my ring finger, this one on my forearm, and then one in the back of my arm as well. Also, by this time, I'm just going back and forth with liking different people. I Being a Christian doesn't mean you're not toxic. <laughs> you still gotta work on yourself. I mean, just <laughs> I'm a man -ho. Around February, March, I was going to men's group consistently, maybe a little bit in April, starting in April as well. Still working on myself, but also I was on the high from the previous year of getting saved with my encounter with Jesus. Not high, like smoking high, but like the high of getting saved, the encounters, that type of stuff. I guess I, I am reading off of a script. I'm not really a script type of person, but this is really difficult for me to get out in a lot of different ways. What I wrote down was the huge wave of Jesus encounters and still having the Jesus encounters, but it felt different. That felt old, becoming stale. Trying to be authentic, and I guess this is the only way I could get stuff out in the mess way, so I'm trying to, I don't know. That, I guess I'm breaking the fourth wall, but whatever. I just can't be a script type of person. Homeboy, re hold on. What's up? What's up, poopy? I'm uh, I'm, doing? I'm recording a video right now. Oh. This is the the setup we got going on right now. We actually, it's actually pretty lit, bro. Like this is like the best setup I've got. What, what video? Uh, turning twenty one video. Ah. So uh, we, I'm doing a year a video reflecting on my year. Oh, that's loud. Bro, look how many people are in our house. Look at my costume. Costume? What is this Halloween? And I even got a tail. That's, don't show me your ass, bro. That's so cute. Fast forward to the end of May. I helped out my church with a conference, doing videos for them for the week. And it was an amazing experience for the church, the people attending, and myself regarding video production. I learned where I was at in my skill level. I learned on how to make videos quick. I learned so much about Final Cut, and my skills improved dramatically. But why do I bring this up after mentioning the stale comment? Because at that moment when I was recording those videos and I was doing the work for the church, I realized there's a cost of ministry that I didn't realize before. I thought that my experience in 2020 were 
revival breaking experiences. I thought that these things that I was going through, my testimony was going to be able to bring revival. I thought I was going to be the one to lead forth the revival and change the nation. After the conference, this experience broke me. It put away all of the expectations that I put on myself. Everything that I thought I was going to be, everything that I thought people put on me that I just put on myself started to fall away. Smoking seemed so tempting in this time and the only thing that led me to not to smoke was really the, te the testimony that I built over the last year, the platform that I put myself on, telling people of high ranking of in the Christian community of what I what has happened to me in the last year and what I've done and all of this and all of that and it's led me to this place of I can't smoke because it would ruin who I was and I would have to go back and have to go back of where I came from and then all of this mess that would have come about from it. I was only looking good at church. I was only looking good in front of others, but deep down in my by myself when I was alone, I was falling into towards the depression. Wasn't depressed necessarily, but I was having those moments cons more consistently, more less fewer far between or whatever the saying goes one day i was coming back from michigan and i decided on my way back that i was just going to spill out in my notes everything that has been going on completely everything that's in here onto a piece of paper so to speak and allow it to be i guess become uh, tangible in a way i i guess just getting it out for me was very helpful in the time by early november i had the idea of completely taking a break from almost everything of course, I'm working at the airport again, and I'll be doing de-icing and all that. But taking a break from doing, picking up extra video jobs, volunteering at different ministries, seeing at church, hosting events, unless it's like with a small group of people, pulling back from everything until mid or early 2020, I should say. In early December, I realized that I was being a bad bride to Christ, and I know to a lot of you that it won't make any sense. I was taking advantage of Jesus, as weird as it sounds, for only my own needs and for what I wanted, and I was being selfish in the bad way, in the, in the wrong way. Realizing I've been a bad bride caused me to regain that conviction. It caused me to realign myself, to turn things around, and this is only in the last month or so. It has caused me to put back focus on what's important and what is not. There has been a crazy amount of breakthrough in my life, whether it has just been small things or big things or whatever it has been. There has been so much that has been God has been undoing or I don't know what the words, but been doing a lot in my life. Also, worship events almost every other week here at this place, at my house or someone else's house, just completely going after God. Connections of friends that are the, some of the deepest relationships I have to, to today. Um, I've really made family. I realize that there is a cost to ministry and I don't think the cost is mine to pay right now or ever, I don't know, but I see that there's a total difference of how I want to take my life, the direction I want to take my life in, I should say. One of that is I really want to go deeper into movies and videos and photos. It, it's been a very difficult year and it's okay. It's okay if you're struggling right now. Thank you for watching. Here's for 22 being in 2022. Peace. I just want to take a second to show what I'm doing, like my setup. Of course, everything's a complete mess except for that area. But I have my Raven Eye from my new gimbal on my phone so I can have like a monitor, I guess. My main, uh, my fill light. I have a bunch of different key lights. My, I have my LEDs as like a color change and then that is on but it doesn't even look like it. I have my <laughs> I have my camera plugged in and my mic and you can't see it. I mean and that you can't see it, but it's definitely there. And oh I have that as like a slight fill as well. Uh so this is kind of my setup. So kinda dig it though. I kinda dig it. It's like on camera, like you can see it's like boom and then that's when we do the transition to there, right? So we're ready. Whoa, what happened? I don't know what happened with this one, but re regardless, I didn't know that was still on. That was, 
I thought this turned off a long time ago, but okay. <laughs>